Hi, this is Antonia and I'm a senior product designer. I have over 10 years of experience and I decided to help you become a better designer by revealing secrets of senior designers. If you're ready to get a bucket of cold water in your face, join me in this video because I will share my list in random order. They're not in the order of importance. Let's start with number one. We know that product leads are not knowing all gods. They're merely humans trying to understand what is happening as much as you are. I feel product leads and designers overlap in their tasks quite a bit. The one massive difference is that product leads focus more on organization, logistics and admin tasks and designers are responsible for visualizing ideas. In other words, we are designing and deeply understanding what is being built and how it will work with the rest of the product or service. We should be able to rely on our product leads. However, they will not always think of everything and hold every piece of the puzzle in their heads. So this is where you should be proactive and do the research. Talk with relevant people. Make sure together with product lead you have all the information to be successful in your job. Number two, wait for somebody else to give you a task. Ay, ay, ay. For some reason, when I was younger, I thought all my tasks come from my superior. Careers. Reflecting on that time, I couldn't be more wrong. I cringe when I think back about that time, to be quite honest. I wish I had a mentor or somebody to coach me a little bit about how things really are. I was young and inexperienced. I didn't know. I only had experience with low-end, dead-end, no qualifications, necessary jobs. And there I had to, of course, follow orders. And that was all to it. That experience in long run underprepared me for design jobs later. It would help if you are self-sufficient. That will not only help you grow as a person, a designer and IT professional, but it will also make you desirable to companies. Trust me, everyone wants a person who can organize their time with only little engagement from their peers and superiors. You can start today. Copy link in description template and start being your little product manager. You can thank me later. This template will help you figure out what to do to deliver quality design. This thing between your ears needs to have clarity. Otherwise, you will not know what to do, but just wait for orders. Don't be that designer. Number three, it's not only about users, it's about business as well. Hey, stop kid yourself. You will often read or hear that designers are users' representatives and that we need to fight for them until our last breath. While the sentiment is true, it's not always about users because if business needs are not satisfied, there is no business and then you don't have users. I would update this statement to this. You represent users around the table of a product team, but you also need to master the fine art of balancing business and user needs. Sometimes businesses will decide to make moves that are not inherently for user satisfaction, but to preserve or grow the company. You might not like it, but your task is to make it as delightful as you know for users. Even if you don't agree or understand why some project needs to happen in the long run, make sure you do your best to find a way to make it delightful and usable. Let's think about the example. Let's say you need to figure out an experience of increasing the price for the most popular tier. You might not like it, but let's for the moment trust that this move is necessary to stay and grow the company, the business. You can design this so it will not piss everyone off. Of course, people will get mad, you know that. But make nice offboarding. Offer discounts if they want to cancel because they can't afford it. Ask politely for feedback. Make precise interactions so nobody doesn't feel screwed later. There are many things to consider here and you can influence that a hated business practice doesn't leave such a bitter taste under your watch. That's the point. Number four, design is never done. It's true. For the longest time, I had a habit of saying to my peers or a product lead that my design is done. After that statement, I literally always had some updating to do, so it was obviously not done. And just because you might not design it in future, it's still not done. 
yeah, sure, it's done for you. Stop splitting carrots with me, focus here. The point is, say, I have a proposal. That way, you protect yourself from nasty comments that it's not done. And you don't end up looking like a complete amateur after you realize you forgot half of the functionalities in a meeting where you are presenting so proudly your solutions. I have a proposal. It leaves space to say, hey, great feedback. I will surely add it to the next iteration. Number five, we don't marry with our designs. Look here. I'm not the best designer out there. You are not the best designer out there. As a matter of fact, nobody's the best. I could have a TED talk on this topic, sure. However, let me explain what I mean. I will again use personal experience. When I was young, I loved my design. It was so sexy, I married to it. That meant every critique was a vicious personal attack on me. I hated it. But I was lucky because my period of that attitude was extremely short. Remember my obedient past? Well, at least it trained me to pipe the f down. Many years later, I couldn't care less if my design gets reconfigured into something different. We're not building sculptures or painting pictures. In that case, please do marry with your artwork. But we are creating buttons, inputs and models for users to achieve some task. Sometimes your ideas are the best in the team. Sometimes they aren't. Sometimes you remember all angles. Sometimes you don't. That's the cold hard truth. And the sooner you accept it, the easier it will be for you to hear feedback and freaking change your designs. And of course not feel bad in the process. If you feel that your job doesn't allow you to express your genius, then start the side project for your own soul. Design some app. And FYI, change jobs because you're obviously not happy in that company. And I don't know, maybe reflect your attitudes, maybe hire a therapist. I'm unsure where I'm going with this. So let's hop on to number six, learn to say no. Story time. So when I was young, I was afraid to say no. I would accept all the tasks, even when I couldn't handle them. It's perfectly okay to say, no, I need more time, or no, I don't have the bandwidth for this task right now. I need to prioritize my main project. Learn also to protect yourself, your sanity and your health. You don't need to work for two or three people. It's only one of you. Number seven, the art of storytelling. Notice how senior designers nicely explain their ideas, thoughts, and vision. They can lure you into their story and you can totally buy it. Being a good storyteller is a great way to build trust with your team and peers. Explain your vision and design so everybody understands you. The side effect is also confidence. All of this sums a quality designer who knows what they want and explains their vision in a straightforward manner so everybody around them understands what they're saying. Learn new words, learn better words, practice speaking. You know, instead of having imaginary fights during showers, try to present an idea for, I don't know, anything. Number eight, we pick our battles. Maybe this one is not necessary a senior designer trait, but I really wanted to mention it. You will not always get your way. You need to learn to accept it. Sometimes you need to sit one out and do what others want. Sometimes you are not the most passionate person in the room. Sometimes your idea is not great, even though you like it so much. And because you didn't marry your designs, you will adjust your designs and have a nice day in life without unnecessary stress. That's something to think about. Maybe you can think about it in shower. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you like my content. Until the next one, ciao skit.